Chris from Aspect Maintenance, a large electrical company based in the centre of London. Today we're going to have a brief look at some outdoor lighting, just talk through of what light you should choose, where you should put it and sort of what circuit should feed that light. Here today we've installed a light on the wall. We've just ran the cable surface just to show you. Ideally you'd install that cable in some mechanical protection, i.e. some plastic conduit or plastic trunking or something like that. The light itself is a 200 watt halogen outdoor light, waterproof, IP rating about 6.5. You don't really want to go any less than that or it'll probably start taking in water and only last a couple of months. The light itself has a movement sensor along the bottom just to pick up people that come by. So obviously the circuit for that you would need is, you would basically just take a permanent live neutral earth to it. You, you could put a switch in the inside purely for isolation if you ever want to change the light or if it's coming on a bit too much and it's sort of annoying you a bit. But ideally you just need a permanent feed to that light and the, the, uh, the sensor switch will do the switching for you. Take a sort of closer look at the connections. Unscrew the waterproof lid, which is there. Just have a look, the cable itself is connected. That's your live which is the red or nowadays will be the brown, the neutral there and the earth which is there. So they'll just match up to their, their connections on the other side. But with most lights, outdoor ones anyway, it'll give you the um, connections on the side. So as long as you follow that, you should be just fine. Um, and, and of course, one very important thing is to make sure that you screw up as tight as possible the waterproof gland that would protect the cable as it goes in so that no water gets in there to the connections. You can see how dry that is. This light's been up there for quite a while. So it's just a case of then putting the waterproof lid back on and just screwing it up as tight as possible with this because obviously when there's water involved you don't want any leaks or anything like that. Getting through. And then obviously you would put the light back up where it was and that's how you install an outdoor PIR sensor light.